So good morning. So our first operation today is a breast enlargement and uh, reshaping of the breast. The patient had a breast reduction uh, over a year ago and unfortunately she suffered fat necrosis and her breasts have become deflated as a result and she's lost the projection and she's lost the shape of her breasts. So she's come back um, to here, to the clinic, to have a breast uh, enlargement with implants. And as you can see, I've got a range of implant sizes available for her. Now she used some sizes, pre-operative sizes, to work out what size she wanted to be. And she's opted for a 345cc uh, implant, or that volume. And having said that, I often get a range of implants available, because it depends on what the breasts look like and the tissue dynamics. Um, to work out what breast implant is most suitable for her. So her surgery is going to be done under sedation anaesthesia uh, and local anaesthetic as a day case procedure. And I'm going to use her old scars and place the implant partially under the chest muscle. And that's to ensure that the upper pole of the breast implant is covered uh, by the muscle. It ensures a smooth takeoff in the upper pole. And in, in my opinion, a more natural look. Um, and yeah, so we'll use a sizer for her during the surgery to work out what's the best size for her uh, and then put the implant in, uh, in replacement of that sizer. So the next part of the video you'll see me doing is the actual surgery and I'll show you uh, the actual plane, the, the, where the implant's put in uh, and you'll help you understand what is meant by a muscle splitting approach. <laughs> 